and um, we just had a former group called Na Tamatua Chuatur. And 49 years ago, remember only one channel, TV news. And then on the Waitangi day, uh, they show images of a hikwe up to Waitangi at the Auckland Na Tamatua, uh, march up to the top. And uh, that was really the one part of the motivation for me about this hope of a or the Tiriti or Waitangi. 48 years ago today, I was here. I was here. I was motivated after watching 49 years ago. And uh, Edward and Nia and I had a chat. I hitched all the way from Christchurch. 1971 and uh, thumb up and all the way up uh, probably about three weeks before the, the um, about a month before the heat went, uh, up here to Waitangi yeah so uh, I hit you all the way in, in fact uh, my last ride was a guy called Possum was a park here fellow who was a fireman who picked me up in Huntley at 10 o'clock uh, 11 o'clock I think just before midnight of uh, New Year's, New Year's Day, 1972. And that guy, Possum, was living in the back flat in Margaret Street in Ponsonby, where everybody, all the Māori, all the Pacific people were actually living there in, uh, before everybody hit up South Auckland. Yeah, and so, um, yeah. Yeah, because I was on heat. I was on fire. My guts. Matuku. Mm. You, know, you know this feeling? I just want to talk about breathing exercise. <laughs> because it was happening to me this morning. I'll come back to this calling later on. This morning, I, um, I actually text uh, Joss at uh, 2 o'clock this morning <laughs> yeah, to come and pick me up uh, at a place just down the road. Because I want to go there up to the top of the hill to the, um, the opening of the party for the Māori Battalion. Yeah, so uh, I went over there, so the place was just full of people in the dark. Then I had to breathe, because in breathing, you know, you sometimes you had to let go of a lot of things. Yeah, when, you, when you walk in, you go, yeah. Because the other things in me there, it go, go nuts. I can either go, I can scream. But I've done it many a times. I go, ah! You gotta let it go, you gotta let that out. So, there was a lot of breathing this morning. It took them many years to acknowledge that they are our papa, our uncles. They went and fight the battles in imperialist war. And they put their propaganda many years ago for our men, because not long before that, with Dekorua was in the battles in uh, Uraka. They were all there. So I had to go through there. which was, was an interesting journey for me, because I had to go ponder through my thoughts and their those feelings to go through there in the midst of a whole lot of people who embark at the equal and it goes through there. It was an interesting exhibition because I need to see it with my own eyes. I need to feel it. What are we thinking? How are we feeling? I heard everybody talking about that. The feeling of anger, mama, and child, all of that. I just want to talk about that. I really want to talk about that, those feelings going through our own motions. Where do we need to take it? So, I am the little short ass arrived here at Waitangi with a bus load of fiery people who were eager. Um, I, I had really no really understanding about the Tiriti of Waitangi. All I know about the Tiriti of Waitangi being brought up at school, at the colonial school in the colonial school at Ruatoki. Just one part of me. 
is my day side, is my mind, is my side, my tamba kaibu on the side, my hamu side, my tafaki side. It is one side. Yeah, and um, yeah, yeah, so I had to, to, to go through that. So uh, we arrived here. Uh, Donna was here, so Donna here today. Donna was here. Toda uh, Edinburgh was really was our voice. Toda Edinburgh, I don't know any of you know Toda. Everybody heard about, um, and everybody heard about Seth and Hanna, but the, all of the other fellows here, they're Toda. Toda's still around. You know, and so these are the academic Maori that I thought of uh, down there during that period of time. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't have a manual book. We didn't have a manual book that enabled us to die where do we need to go to. And because all our papa and the Kroa was eager to send their tamariki to their kitchen, cheap and their colleague, uh, like Hone Hone Arawira, and many others were sent to that space. Because that, that's why, uh, because they really believe, oh, we want to get our, our kids, get their mouth out of Kina, or our Nata. Because uh, there was a message. There was a podium that came to us. The Maukoto, the Faikoto, and the Mataro, and the Pakeha. So we had to go through. Well, I was breathing, but I was on fire. So the call was a simple action for us. So we arrived here uh, 49 years ago, same place, same right around here. So the call was the boycott, the celebration up the top there. And then there was going to be a heat way up there. Uh, there was also some propaganda on the media and uh, they were talking about, um, I can't remember the group was uh, so good again and uh, they, they, the media going, uh, they're going to come and smash us up all these radicals. But it didn't happen. It's all propaganda. So this morning was another journey. So I walked up there this morning because I remember the day we walked up here just before, just before uh, on Waitangi Day. And, uh, and when we arrived there, uh, Kini Hihaka and his Kapahaka from uh, Tamaki, Tamaki Makauga was, uh, was up there. And, um, and so we arrived there. So the signal was as soon as they, they do, it, uh, do their Kapahaka and all that, and uh, we're going to move people away from the, uh, from the top, the top um, ground there and march all the way. I didn't move, I actually stayed there. Yeah, I remained there on the top of the hill. And uh Waho Dera. And uh, I, I don't know if, if anybody here was there during that period of time. Were you there, my brother? Oh yeah. And uh, it was a really interesting time because there was a feeling in my book. I didn't want it to go. Mm. Yeah, my book told me I somebody was talking to me somewhere, I don't know. The whole way they 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 maybe maybe I don't know. You don't know this thing, but it happens. Mm. And then just before going up there, I put a uh, or some marks on my face. We see images on the river. So as soon as uh, King Hiyaka started his group, and, uh, and that's when Kachiro Takuwa, I wanted to make a big loud noise. So that's the key. And then nobody did know, people didn't know how to respond to the action. <laughs> nobody knew what to do. And all I wanted to do was to, to have a voice. I wasn't too sure what it is. So that was a real beginning for me here at Waitangi doing that. Of course, I got picked up. I was a uh, half the size then during that time. They picked me up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. 
I was in angry about it. I was really happy about it. <laughs> yeah, because it changed my thinking during that whole period of time for me. Where am I going to? Yeah, who I know how to get here. In, uh, in long, not long after that, I remained in Auckland, uh, up in Margaret Street in Ponsonby. And uh, there were so many, was a, the 70s was a really inter interesting period of time for us. Really interesting time, because there was the radical, there was the anti-Vietnam thing, there was all about the apartheid system. And so there was a whole collaboration of people that were having this conversation. And the conversation was happening. And then I heard, Yaramati Tahi Kuri Wakatari Retabe, Kaiti Hui Hui Na Kuro Warai Te Chira Hau. And I said, oh, how hard do we like the Chira Hau? There's a meeting at the Chira Hau. So I decided to go down and get across the Hui. And uh, all of uh, my uh, co was here at the Chira Hau. There was a meeting about giving an apologies to Duncan McIntyre. I think uh, it's an apology because of my behavior here in, uh, in uh, up in the grounds. And they call me, hey, I want to chew away like a lot of chew away than a waha. Ah, Kapakama, Waku Park, it is. And so they wanted to, uh, to give an official apologies on my behalf without my permission. And I arrived there, so that was another two hit away there. So I, I guess it was a really interesting time for, for all of that uh, and finally during the whole period of time. You know, the people, there was a mixed feeling. Yeah, who are not that lucky here? We, we, where are we really going to? So, um, so I did some reading. I, I read about Karl Marx, I learned about um, Ho Chi Minh, I learned about many of these, uh, uh, many of these people that uh, was a global conversation right around, right around the world. And, uh, and then, and then, uh, and then we, there was a quarter about the Ruake Nana. There's a quarter about within their own whānau, about the Maikoha, and the battles in the Urua and the Waraka. So it's a whole mix of that. A whole mix of those that kind of conversation. And, koenga, he kōrero tērā. So here we are. Here I am, 50 years later. And here we are. Where are we? It's a really interesting quarter because what's happening today was quite totally different 49 years ago to what is here today. Yaho ka te tau te wairua, ka te hikaka tonu, but they're really interested because we are now talking about motuhake, rangatiratana. So there was a really interesting quarter about ngā wahi te quarter ngā rātau, what they're trying to do. You don't have to be to have a million dollars to be a millionaire. You already are. You already are. You are living here. You can't buy it. It's an interesting place because this is where we belong. So all we do, and you don't need a big, huge paddock, it's Marakai. And so we just do a little wee exercise. And now we're doing a little wee exercise uh, in the Marakai. So there's a whole different process in conversation about the Fukati Fukai. Uh, because I was raised many years ago as a young child, we plow everything. Mm, Plowing, you don't need to do that. You don't need to. You just do little wee pockets. And having a relationship. So we need to have a relationship and having that relationship with the Bhutaya. And so we build it. And that's what we're going to do. And we're having that conversation. And that's been happening right here at the Motu. So we're having a look in this, uh, having these sort of types of conversation. Um, the treaty settlement, they call it Rango Tera. So the biggest challenge for us there is really there's a real tohe tohe among ourselves. You know, they are the Where are we actually going to? Where do we need to invest our group there? 
and now we are do we need to build another 17 million dollar house or a 7 million dollar house you know there, there's a poor little that um you know that's happening and I, and I think it's happening right around the mutsu so we need to really have some uh cool little around that where do we need to invest our budget and what we're gonna do about it so i'm not here to tell you what that is really just a thought so um, so when we go home or the day after and we get ponder through day and just i'm saying to you go and do what you gotta do believe in it believe in yourself because that's a big thing the biggest thing for me is my own liberation myself it's a big change that was really hard some of it took me 35 years some of them took me 45 years mm. i'm just still going through to make uh, some of those changes after well, all of us we all been colonized mm. yeah, we all been colonized but we need to be the colonizer to colonize to liberate ourselves and we did that so tomorrow I'm launching this T-shirt. It's about um, <laughs> colonized AF. It's a new language. Yeah. So um, it so will be on uh, online. So it's, a, it's about that. To confront our own self about that. You know, and so um kite wete wete ite ba ke ha ka ka ito tu ya da da. Ya ha te ya. We can't frame in the ba ke ha we te ya. We already been captured. You don't have to be in jail to be in jail. We already are. Mm. Really? So we need to free ourselves from that. To liberate ourselves and make those changes ourselves. And that's a hard thing to do. I had to make a lot of changes. I had to make changes on my own behavior. That I adopted, me and us that mean. A lot of those men talk about those experiences, that they spoke about it. It's beautiful. It's a change, it's a movement, it's a movement within their soul, within their pukul, because they feel it. You know, and so that's the beginning of their freedom to be able to chukri ura tau na, whakara ura tau mamai, to give confidence. And so I believe that we can make it, it's a healing process, so we need to heal. 49 years ago, <laughs> I saw in the 8, eight o'clock magazine, it used to come out every Saturday in Auckland, it was an Auckland magazine. And so this particular day, on the Saturday, there was a photo of this guy, his name was Sam Kiriwapa, who is a brother to uh, Eva Rickard. And so he was doing a recruit to all his ex maori battalion mates who armed themselves to go down to raid. Anyway, I sh and, and I thought, wow, look at this. I think they're going to be me. So uh, I saw, um, uh, I caught up with my mate uh, Ringo, or John, or here from uh, Naitarani. Hey, look at this. What do you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah that's us. Yeah, and um, <clears throat> anyway, we went and looked with this guy, Sam, over in Raglan. And when we arrived there, and he's finally going, oh, go and see, the, there's a lady there, um, Eva Ricard, go and have a chat with her about it. Yeah, because I didn't realise, yeah, they actually they were brothers and sisters. Mm. And uh, so anyway, we arrived there, and I met up with Eva Ricard. So at the time, I think we had a shotgun in the 303, <laughs> we borrowed it from some mates down on, uh, in, um, in, uh, in, my, in, I won't say where, but <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't have any ammo, but it was a kind of was an idea. It was really was an idea to support the kaupapa of this of this bucket here for the Maori battalion mm. because he fought the war. Sam went in there. He still had a, a wound on his mind, and he was angry. The mama yeah yeah, it did it yeah yeah, and. Uh, and I was thinking about him on my, on my way up there this morning. I was thinking about many other, many other of the tour of those days. They pulled this battle for the imperialist war. 
I was thinking about them. I was thinking about the old fellow Wikidiku, who was blacklisted from the RSA because he had an attitude. So there was a really a lot of angry men. And their name was hanging over there. So I pay my respect to those people. Well, no, I don't really want to come the through. And uh, really the message for me is that let's move. Mm. Let's move. Let's heal ourselves. Let's run with me and mini mini our song. And let's move on. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what the Garwan is doing. Just think about what we're going to do. Yeah. And that's all. And so if we all think together, that's a huge movement. Nobody can stop that. Yeah. Don't poke yourself about the negativities what the other people are doing. Just think about what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I say that's a powerful thing to do. You read that, you look at our photo, then our photo, then our photo, then our photo.